Okay, so our first clip is some severe weather that this TV67 just experienced. Ooh. Let's see what's been going on. <gasps> I love their editing. Oh. Trying to get them. There we go. Up to date, severe weather they, coverage. They always manage to make it look like TV. Always. I love uh, it. Okay, Old well, TV obviously TV. hitting the uh, staples, that kind of gets tiresome after a bit. Where the hell are we, Kansas? We well, already got a tornado warning. We're only like two minutes in. Bruh. What if it's a shark? Ah, Texas! I'm trying to. So we're just not. This incident so that happened June 9th, 2006. So we're just not supposed to understand the broadcast, right? It I, I hides the obvious. It's supposed to hide the obvious fact that uh, most of the time these things are done cheaply. I love the uh, Xbox 360 microphone. Like very low budget news station. Like they have like cameras from like the fucking 60s. Uh, looks like our. They have like the very first color cameras. <laughs> That's what they have. This could be someone's first analog horror, but it's actually not that bad when it comes well, to visuals. I, I do, do not. not. Do not. Do not. It said leave your shelter now, and it said then do not. Do uh -oh. not. As if something is supposed to be happening within the storm. Is there Don't a jump do, scare? Do not do what kid. Uh, no. Oh. Okay, analog horrors usually do not uh, utilize. No, I know, but it's scares. like. But I know some definitely have in the past. Like, not all, but some. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, those are the lowbrow ones, and we condemn people for doing that. Civil authorities have issued a special message. Remain indoors at this time. Follow safety tornado warning protocols. Seek shelter immediately. They're all kind of off-center with their uh, graphics. Do, Do not, not seek shelter. Well, Remain tuned to the station for further details. There's two parties involved in this. Oh boy, I, we've seen this before. Let's see where it goes. TV 67. Well, at least they got an accurate looking. Uh... There is no way this is just a tornado. There is an immediate oh, threat. Remain tuned to this station. Important instructions will follow shortly. Remain tuned to this station. Oh, okay, so we have my. When did Stephen like Hawking join? That's Microsoft Sam. Oh really? Yeah, I know because uh, I had to get the voice for Sass Mac. They really changed the way Microsoft Sam sounded over the years. If you've heard Arby and the Chief, I have not heard the recent uh, Microsoft voice. Yeah. Follow your protocol. Uh oh. My raw forecast. See shelter now. Calls. Follow your heart. Rip it out of your chest. Do not follow code 015. There's a malfunction in the local television warning system. Follow code 019 protocol. Oh, someone doesn't want them to follow. Follow it. Move to the centermost room on the lowest floor of your home. Lock all doors to your sh leading to your shelter entrance. Kind of unreadable. What if you, what if you live in an apartment? Move now away code... from any reflective... S oh, wait. Let's what? back this up and see if we can get it. Yeah, a we're going to have to. Keep a light tuned on, preferably a dim one. Move away from any reflective surface, no matter how much they reflect. 
So are we hiding from mirrors or something? We're hiding maybe from beings that live in darkness. I don't know. Or if you dimensions? are a shelter with numerous persons bundled into a small group, you may talk, but you must talk in a low, quiet whisper. Also, who is DMing me? Oh, that's uh, something from the uh, Sharpcast. Okay. I forgot to mute that. You're only just now getting these things? Uh, that was pretty much Cyclone d DMing. Uh, okay, if you can hear laughter of children, ignore it as much as possible. Noise canceling devices. Uh, oh, fuck. This thing's kind of hard to read. Will increase your noise tolerance. Noise canceling devices like in, earmuff? In, like headphones? Yeah. Or earplugs? Children whispering. Can, oh, it's been edited. Listen to the laughter. It is all a trance. Listen to the laughter. Mass station interviews in progress. Turn on your TV now. The children are playing. Children of the corn? They are our figure. They are your master. I wonder if we're going to get like a face in the TV or something. Or skipping little children. Do you listen to the laughter? Not really. I hate children. Audio one. I hear a car crash. Laughter my ass. Stop, Stop and tape. So do we witness kids having a joyride? Uh, we witnessed some sort of psychological horror going on. There's a thumbnail down there that says children play with them. God, that's one of like the the scariest things about analog horror is like this theme constantly coming up that something is trying to compromise the feed and get people to do something that would be absolutely horrible for them. I always see this uh, coming up in the analog horror thing. All right. Thankfully, though, our recommends this is the next video that is supposed to be in the next trilogy the 2004 grand vegas accident oh, oh no Wait, oh look not even we not came... even las vegas grand vegas you're gonna be we royal. basically opened up on a conclusion of a half-life 2 commercial oh and again they're kind of off center with their graphics it's not supposed to be that close to the but my anyway. question is, if it takes place in the early 2000s, 24-7 uh, TV was already a prevalent thing at the time. Yeah. So my question is, were there some places throughout the country that only had a, up to 12 a.m. and they signed off or signed off even earlier than that? Uh... I'm not, like, trying to be a dick here. I'm genuinely curious. I'm trying to think, too. Preference. Um... So that people in the comments are not like, oh, why are you being such a dick? Actually, I think by the time the 2000s came around, we were pretty much on 24-hour channel. It's just that... That's what I thought, and that's yeah. why I was kind of confused. Because, yeah, come to think of it, uh, yeah, you got 24 hours, and they basically just between midnight, sometime after midnight, after some late-night shows or whatever, because you got two late-night shows, and you get earned commercials, and then uh, then your morning news, and not only that, I mean, satellite and cable is pretty much a thing, and that offered 24 hour program, 24 7 programming as well. So, this is kind of weird. So, that's why I'm asking is, was it still a thing even then? Because I have no I recollection of that. Can't remember. As a kid. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. I take all that back because I remember one time. I think I was 17. It was the first like first time my like, my mom went up to way somewhere and I was like watching the house and I watched TV and up until midnight it was uh a channel 11 um I think this was uh 2008 or something no 2008 2009 I don't know either way it did sign off so I take that back there was still some channels but then again I was on the economy package <laughs> So I shot myself in the foot there 
She said economy package. <laughs> well, I never had. I, I never. Ha- I the only time I ever had like mainstream cable was when I went to my granny and my grandpa's house. Um, when I lived with my mom, she only had the basic economy package. And that was anything from Channel 2 up to Channel 20. And then we had 34, and then we had 77, and maybe like a music channel. But slowly they got taken away. And we did have the Disney Channel at one point, but that got taken away as well. And, uh, yeah, it it was very, it was very hardly anything on TV. Whoa. And you didn't even get, like, Channel 18 Whoa, or 19. I got yep. Telemundo at one point, but uh, you got to watch Dora in Spanish, and she taught words in English. But anyways, let's see if this will make sense. But it looks like what the sign-off is not going to be dealing with is we're, we're probably going to be dealing with whatever's going on with the Grand Vegas Hydroelectric Dam, a visitor's guide. Oh, community bulletin here. Uh, from November 23rd, I-35 North has been temporarily shut down due to a knockover semi. Uh, residents traversing on I-35 North from 11 to 9 tomorrow may face major traffic delays. So... Oh, let's see... The Hundiac Public Archive. Okay. Hundiac. It sounds like the mix between two different cars. Yeah. This here's a visitor's guide to the Grand Vegas Hydroelectric Dam. I don't know why they put this on TV in 2004. Unless it's a public access. Ah, the Grand Vegas Hydroelectric Dam. Second main power source in Hundiac City. County. Excuse me. Ugh. The dam is a great area to teach children about the effects of renewable energy that will be seen throughout the outer parts of the dam. They forgot the apostrophe for a wheel. The plan's hardworking staff ensure the elect that the entirety of Hondiac County is given electrical power to prevent uh, necessary items from becoming unusable. If it weren't for these people, we'd be stuck in the dark wandering in houses. The links that branch off the mainstream of the dam are known as the best fishing spots in the county. Just a random fun fact. Okay. The parental figures lurk below. Huh? Hmm. Approach them immediately. No, I don't think you should. I will take no for 200 hours. The inner workings of the hydroelectric dam are very complex, and employees are well-trained in a scenario that the dam is to undergo a massive failure. Did I read that fucking right? Hmm? Let's run that back again. The inner workings of the hydroelectric dam are very complex, and employees are well-trained in a scenario that the dam is to undergo a massive failure. Why would it? Uh, okay, so I did read that right? Something fucking happened. The environment around the dam is very forested, holding various species of animals. Giant spiders! I don't know. That's Burke's out. Shh. I can dream. Mostly That's nightmare. That's broadcast, really. <gasps> uh, civil authorities have issued a code 0-05 warning for the area. Remain tuned to the station for information. Uh, Is this just a county where supernatural occurrences happen? What the uh, fuck? Like all the other it's shit? It's just Coolsville. Audio only. Oh. Code zero five eleven. Oh fuck. Right there.
Wait. Let's... A. Adjust the audio so that way we're not going to get deafened because I want to run through this again. I want to take a look at the bottom text. And, uh... Let's see what it actually said. Back it up a little bit. There we go. Let the uh, player fucking... Evacuations of Calden are now taking place as floods intensify. The Grand Vegas Hydroelectric Dam is preparing to open floodgates to prevent a dam breach from occurring in the area. So are you just trying to drown your town? I have these at low volume. Oh. Civil authorities are preparing to issue 116 codes near Dead Thumb and Calden. Floodgates now open. Dangerous flooding is occurring. Evacuate now. Damn. It looks like it's storming. Let's say we wind up finding a car around the footage that's not from 2004. It comes a lot later or something. And that's probably why they blur the footage. Can you tell what car that is? I can't see the Pontiac Civic, can you? That's a Honda Civic! Pontiac don't make Shh! Hundiac, Gonzo. Hundiac. <laughs> Oh, God. Bro, they're shooting at something. Scroll and that's a hell of a weather alert, alert, I tell you. Yeah, the gunshots are reported. Code disfigure event, Entity 3031. Follow the instructions to ensure minimal loss of life. Underground shelter. An interior room will not protect you. If you have children, keep them as close to you as possible. Make as little noise as possible. Firearms are recommended. Keep a light that's yellow, preferably dim. So this thing, like, thrives in darkness, I guess. It hates the color yellow? Bro, it's a giant tentacle. Look at it. Oh, the text was a little different. Yeah, let's go back. The parental. Lay the parental. Who is the parental? Well... And the text went backwards as we went there. Play the parental, they say. What's that orange thing out there in the middle of nowhere? I'm keeping it low in case it tries to jump scare us. Lay the parental. Lay the parental. Lay the parental. What was that? No idea. All right, guys, for the sake of humanity, I have to lay the parental. Oh, my God. Uh, I believe laying the parental is what got Chris Chan involved in the fucking trouble in the first place. I'll suffer jail for the sake of humanity. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Hang on. Go full Chris Chan! Our next one is called the Arrow Cam. Oh, Jesus. Love it. Love it already. I haven't even... I'm supposed to fucking full screen this. And it tries to fucking do the audio thing. Get it go on, bitch. Oh, boy. Okay, okay, you... okay. I'm Let's keep our volume low. Those, because fuck these cheeks. fucking goddamn jacks. You get to moving. You get to skedaddling, boy. All right. Let's start over this time without blasting our fucking ears out.
Welcome to Aerocam. We're at Dallas to Fort Worth, and we're intended to go to Mexico City. It looks like this is a recreation that uses Microsoft Flight Sim. Interesting take, really. I mean... This guy's not doing a good job taking off an airplane, really. I don't think so. It must be rushed. Or in some very, very windy area. I can't wait for my Amazon package to arrive. I'm using Prime. When you order same day delivery at 11.59 p.m. Oh my god. All right, cockpit view. Uh, current location. There's some warning lo warnings coming on. I can't remember which one they are. Oversee. Overspeed? Yeah, I think so, maybe. So they're go taking off way too fast. Yeah, or they're just, like, booking this damn thing. I think they're, like, trying to get away from something. And they're intended to go across the border to Mexico City International. All right, I guess we're going to Mexico, guys. So how are we getting this footage? Plane has a dash cam? I mean, yeah, they got security systems and black boxes and all that, but... It, it could possibly be that the AeroCam survived or this AeroCam is being recorded live. Oh, it looks like the warning stopped. At least, yeah. idea where the hell they are right now. Oh, we got another warning. Well, okay, that went away. This is really blurry. Hang on, let's see if it's, well, I had to set at a lower fucking resolution, but then again, this is also on auto, so keeping it at 4080 will, should work. But then again, I had to put the uh, uh, virtual machine at a lower res, so that way it's not like the recording is just not so fucking jittery. I've noticed that when we was watching some of the previous videos. I mean, I don't know why I'm still with Caracol. We probably could move back, move to watch together to watch this. Either one, it doesn't matter. Not true. As long as you capture yourself some good footage. We've been definitely been staring at these stars for a little while. Oh. Bank angle. Bank angle. I would love if the arrow cam like just catches something horrifying. Come on, man. Give me something. I'm just saying. You know, looking at the arrow cam, I can't even tell if the plane's moving. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell because it's nighttime. We're hearing some audio going on. gonna crash the plane. I hear backhandle. 
I think he's saying bank angle. Yeah, that's a that's another plane warning. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Too low oh terrain. fuck. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Something made the plane go into a fucking spin. Oh, all sorts of warnings are going off now. This plane's about to go down. Something has made it go fucky wucky. Something for lack either of a better grabbed, something either grabbed it. Oh or god. He made, or he made the mistake of flying into the storm, maybe. He's lost control of the plane. Terrain? It could yeah. also be that the entity got onto the plane. So what is this? A ghost or Who knows? The plane's gonna crash. Uh-huh. Signal missing or corrupted. So this was broadcasting to the station. Why would public access have this randomized fucking video? There must be a reason for it. for the remainder of the clip? That gave us like next to nothing. We just saw the plane flying and then it went down. Is that music? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, like, the music is a part of the channel, or if that music is a part of the entity, maybe. Crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. Next up, Animal Report. Is this going back even further into the TV's history now? Possibly. Animal Control Report. It was recorded in the 80s, I think. Starting a little later. Guarantee this ain't no animal. We already know the way this shit goes. Anya County Forest Animal Research Report. 1989, February 23rd. Hundy Jack. What was that flash of text? Hold the fuck up. That's the grocery store music. Take it to the candy shop. Ugh. Animal uh, research report. Damn it, can I... Can I use... Yes, I can. Thanks to YouTube's neat little features, I can go frame by frame. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Ha ha ha! Fuck! I can't even read that shit. It's so distorted, you can't even read it. This guy thought of everything. I've gone. That's the highest it could go. Fuck you! He Gonzo proofed it, Gonzo. They know you're out there. Son of a they bitch! Know. They know you're looking for those nuggets of truth. They gotta deny you. I bet it'll come better off when I had to edit this stuff up. Gons was like an investigator that nobody ever calls. All right, the following is a report of recent animal attacks spanning from January 29th to February 19th. Many more animal attacks happened. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, fuck. So, we have the Texas playing Quixote? God, fuck. 
the uh, I will now perform the sacred Texan plane coyote call. Oh woo! Oh Oh fuck! You you you're already there slipping. Uh, the Texas plane coyote is a common coyote species in the state of Texas. Duh, uh, duh. About 18 animal tags have been reported among this animal. Uh, deep scratches and bites have been reported by the Valley Health General Hospital, along with confirmed rabies symptoms. Rabies. Wabies. I like how the music is so happy. It's actually a uh, 70s, like 1970. Yeah, these are grocery store music. Now for the Eastern Cougar. A cougar mostly found in the Eastern United States. Um, typically, typically searching for young men with a lot of money. Taken from the department. A sugar baby. Taken from the redundancy department of redundancy. <laughs> oh my God, this is this is starting to become a, like one of the. We're just roasting this now. Shit. I, 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 I'm being silly, don't mind me. I actually quite like this. It just needs a lot of tweaking. It's surreal. Uh, most of these have now migrated to northern Texas for no known reason. Most reports of eastern cooker attacks have resulted in fatal injuries. On one of the comments of the grocery store music 1975, some <coughs> comment saying, Hey, where can I find the laundry detergent? Clerk, it's in the aisles between the dwarf armor and the elvish magic potions. Me, thank you. When cool. you go into a shop and you try to buy normal things, you end up getting D and D stuff. I set the one of the uh, I set one of the uh, crackhead Craigslist videos to this kind of music. <laughs> Let's see. The following is what is possible cougar attack on audio recording taken from an office in Calden, Texas. Sounds may be disturbing. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. I guarantee this ain't a cougar. It's like something really disturbing. It's a mutated animal. This is supposed to be a cougar attack. Oh, generic sounding screaming. That's actually not that bad. There's, you could use a bunch of different screens, but this is actually oh, nice. Another one. That's a generic core screen. Look <laughs> how that was supposed to sound like a cougar attack. After the subject's autopsy was completed, it had been confirmed it was not a cougar attack, uh, but an attack of a paranormal entity commonly residing in Hundiac City and surrounding areas. Okay, so this is paranormal. This is like a, like a spirit or a demon or something killing people. The paranormal entity has been reported as an extremely realistic mannequin head, commonly living in areas with erratic weather conditions. Okay. Actually, that would explain the head in that previous video. They will be outside on the avenues. You will approach them. Fuck no, I won't. I, have I heard what happened to that lady. If, oh shit, come on, back up. If spotted, do not make any attempt to walk within a range of 13.5 feet of the creature. Walk away from it, return to your home. Do not make contact with the man mannequin head, gotcha. Do not look it? behind the curtain. Hang on. Uh, okay, alongside with these children, with no sign of any upper. Man, I, I've made a bad decision with uh, going this low resolution for this. Upper neck part. Yeah. And blank are common signs of the entity. Being, being nearby. nearby. 
Yeah, I made a, bit, a horrible mistake. I should have went with uh, 720. Well, that explains, that explains the sounds of the children now. We got something. The entity will only appear during severe weather, such as hail storms, flash floods, winter storms, or tornadoes. Okay. So those are pretty common occurrences in Texas, so... Only limited to Hondiac City. Uh, I forgot that name. And uh, called in. No other entity has been reported. No other city has reported this type of paranormal activity. Shit, I can't even see this shit. In extreme cases like the Grand Vegas <laughs> Dam Collapse, essentially. Of 1986. More of these entities will appear. Resulting in few future casualties. Yeah. Yeah, we were right. So there's riots in 86. Further casualties. We were close. Uh, in... Fuck me... In extreme cases like the Grand Ve like the Grand Vegas hydroelectric dam riots. We already read this. Yeah, all signs. Why did it flicker back though? Glitch? Strange. Glitch in the matrix. They are also Fuck me! I have the worst mistake ever. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean, but your reactions are quite adorable, Gonzo. I made a fucking fatal mistake with this. Gonzo, you're adorable. Never stop being cute. The text is distorted, anyways. Yeah, I mean, if you want, like, in post editing. They also attracted the heavy. Things. Fucking hell! These are pixelated as fuck. Listen to them. It's the audio from the arrow cam. July 16, 2000. My assumption is the mannequin had attacked the plane, I don't know. Yo. Parental. That, that's the thing I was commenting earlier. What the fuck is that? Is it just like a mannequin? That's like, the parental. Head? Yeah, the mannequin head. The children. Play with them. Is this like alien or something? Yeah, I guess the parental and the children attack the plane. Hmm. It's paranormal. They don't know if it's an alien. Five, or just... four, five. They will arrive. can't even tell what it says that's deliberate you can't read those cherish them I think yeah Damn. yeah these are these are deliberately distorted beyond interpretation fuck oh that, that's just cheating Frickin' text privilege. God. A no peace hours warning is now in effect. All crime is legal until 4 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, so we just automatically went with the purge. Essentially. Five continuous hours, anomaly containment units, law enforcement, and safety services shall not be harmed unless they are harmed to you. Bunkers will be open for those who do not wish to participate in no peace hours. Why are there no peace hours? Are they fighting a war against the parental? Like what? 
they have the purge essentially does the mannequin like get inside of their heads and they tell people to do crazy shit I mean there is the movie mannequin Mercy bulletin as a result of unknown radiation beams emergency services are unavailable yeah same thing main indoors all normal programming has to suspend it until further notice crime will be legal for the next six hours I fucking love that <laughs> Necessarily inspired by the purge. complete power shutdown following shortly. Yo, they're crippling. Then the they people turn all of that the, town. They turn all the power. Don't you need a dimly lit light in order to like uh, prevent the entity from getting you? Apparently not. All assets belong to rightful owners who are dead now, by the way. Maybe. Now for the update that ended up being posted by this person before just an announcement came out of nowhere. I don't want to do something I don't like anymore. I won't be uploading videos here anymore. Video uploading continues on my Half-Life Aspired series, English Japan Media. Link in pinned comment. And we, we can't, we will be taking a look at that. Oh, so this guy just, like, stopped this, so we never figure out what, like, the parental is or any of that. There was does... one more video, though. They dated it April 18th, Soft Super DOS, and that's it. That doesn't tell us anything. All right, we could have not watched that, and we'd have near as much knowledge. Yeah. I suppose that was just his way of ending it. We're never supposed to know what the parental is, or these like events, or whatever. Probably. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Like, you get really passionate about something, and then it's like, you're not... It's not like you're not happy about it, but it's like, you know you could do something better. 